Good morning, YouTube. It's uh, 5.08 in the morning. And today's topic is asteroid bases. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosomes space the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors radiation are mathematic a solution asteroid what am i doing up so just recently in the news here um china announced that they wanted to build uh space bases on asteroids uh they they made a lot of announcements lately um they want to so they have a um they have a uh sort of a, a capsule in space um they're about to send up another one i think within the next couple of years here and connect the two that i think that officially establishes their space station uh, which they've talked about wanting to have uh, they've sent astronauts up uh, in the past and they want to have astro an astronaut presence on their space station um, they've sent a probe to the moon and they want to establish a base on the moon, a lunar base. Um, and so now, you know, this announcement of wanting to establish an asteroid base, you know, they, it makes sense. They, they kind of want to have a, a big presence in space, but, you know, like with a lot of their announcements, they don't really give much detail. Um the about the only detail they state for the asteroid base is to get one established by 2020 between 2020 and 2025 uh which is still a ways out there but um they want to do this because on asteroids uh there's these minerals called uh well these elements uh palladium platinum and a bunch of others uh that we use for for uh, high performance electronics really uh, so there's huge demand for things like cell phones uh, circuit boards uh, things like that and so if they can get you know if they can establish a base and start mining off those asteroids they they could they would have a source of these elements these materials uh, which could make them billions if not trillions of dollars <laughs> Um, so when po most people think of asteroids, they think of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Um, so I guess, <clears throat> I guess there are some random asteroids here and there that are not in that belt between those two planets. Uh, but the majority of those asteroids are there. And so again, no details on this. So I assume they would pick one of the asteroids between Mars and Jupiter, which is quite a distance away. Um. I don't recall if China wants to get to Mars. Uh, you know, establishing something on Mars isn't really a money maker. That's why, um, although maybe establishing something on the moon, I guess they want to mine on the moon too. You know, each each of these things are are money making adventures. Uh, although the space station isn't really money making, but they could do experiments there, I guess. Um, so you kind of wonder why, you know, why they're picking each of these things. Money is, is a major, uh, a contributing factor here. So, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, to, to establish a base, they, they have the launch technology. Uh, I don't know that they have the habitat technology. Uh, I guess they could just, you know, use the, their information in building a space station um, I guess that's their habitat technology, but they got to get it onto the surface. Uh, I'm not sure they're capable of that yet. Um, so they, they probably do have the technical expertise. Um, it's just whether they have the resources to get it done, uh, the planning and the willpower too. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see, <clears throat> you know, when, when you establish, uh, they, they state reasons, uh, like mining as well as uh, space travel and what's kind of fun with establishing something on an asteroid uh, or on another planet is that you know as as you know the the earth rotates around the sun and if you establish something on the moon which rotates around the earth you're still uh, you're still limited to your local area 
once you establish something on another planet which has a very different you know orbit around the sun uh, if earth is here and your planets over here your your territory is now widespread um, same thing with an asteroid uh, you know your asteroid could be way out here while the earth is still here um, does that really spread your influence though it stretches your influence out but if you know you'd have to have a lot of resources on that base like other ships um, you know things of that nature to to really say that you're you're spreading your uh, spreading your influence um, but it is kind of interesting you know as as that asteroid gets around uh, you are effectively traveling through space um, Again, whether you can do much with that, I'm not sure. But it's fun to think about. Uh, you know, and if China gets it done, you know, China doesn't play with the other nations. So, um, you know, China getting it done doesn't really advance space for the rest of humanity. It just advances it for China. Uh, maybe maybe by then they'll change their mind and, and be more cooperative with the rest of the nations. Uh, but you don't know. They, they do have deals with Russia, I hear. Uh, and plans between China and Russia to maybe, I think maybe the, uh, the China-Russia partnership is for developing space stations, but, um, you know, Russia doesn't have much money, so their, their resources there are kind of limited. Um, so all this is speculation, right, it, in, which is kind of, that's all you can do when all they say is, oh, between 2020 and 2025, Again, that is the only detail they've given, and plus this desire to establish a base. Um, and if if they're not giving details, then that forces the rest of us to just start coming up with details. <laughs> uh, there really isn't much else to talk about. So it's an interesting prospect. Uh, I hope it gets done, even though China doesn't play uh, with the rest of us. But um, I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of fun. So all right, I gotta head off to work. You got to go do whatever it is you do. We'll talk to you next time. Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> it's uh, 5.07. Pretty soon here, uh, they're about to second uh, send in a... They're about to second? <laughs>